Desmond Gold has made some very controversial statements against Palestine resulting in a Twitch ban. This split the internet in half, with one side being <gasps> furious, sending oh, him no. threats, insulting Come his on, character, man. and hoping for a full ban, and the other half advocating for his freedom of speech. This even made mainstream media headlines with YouTubers like Philip DeFranco covering the situation, which begs the question, does Asmin Gold really deserve the Twitch ban? And what about the insane hypocrisy of Twitch banning Asmin while psychos like Hassan are allowed to stream Scott free on the platform? Some of you are likely wondering, why is a video game streamer even talking about political issues in the first place? Despite Zach Hoyt, better known as Asmin Gold, getting his start from streaming the popular MMORPG World of Warcraft, as the years went on, Asmin started making React content on YouTube, often adding his own takes to whatever he's covering, be it lifestyle, gaming, and political content. Asmin covered the BLM riots back in 2020 to presidential rallies within the last few months. So this idea of Asmin only streaming video games isn't true, which takes us to October 4th when Asmin spoke about his perspective on Palestine. Uh, I'm not supporting a, uh, a group of people that would, uh, you know, kill a gay person or a trans person for existing. Uh, I'm not going to support that group of people in any context. Absolutely not. These people would be the ones doing the writing if they had the power. If you want to consider it as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have built into Sharia law right now. I'm not going to cry a f***ing river when people who have died that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. Regardless of your personal beliefs on Islam, we can all agree that the loss of innocent life is never a good thing. Now before I show you some of the most unhinged replies Asmin got on X because of his takes, we gotta talk about did Asmin Gold deserve the Twitch ban? And the answer to that is absolutely not. Now look, what he said was wrong, I certainly don't agree with it. But the issue is, there are so many streamers that are saying the exact same thing he's saying, but just for the opposite side, but there's no repercussions for them, there's no bans for them. Streamers like Frogo, Denims and Hassan have have said things that are so messed up and so evil, but they get a pat on the back for what they gotta say. In fact, Hassan showed NMP LOL a clip of uh, a propaganda, I guess you could say. But that's fine, are you kidding me? I could sit here for 10 years and talk about all of the heinous things that have come out of Hassan's mouth, and the guy faces little to no repercussions because of it. Look, if you ask me, nobody should get banned for what they have to say. If Asmin says something stupid, let the replies fix it. Bad ideas are ultimately destroyed by good ideas. But since Twitch is in the business of banning its creators, they gotta stop banning people from one side of the political spectrum. But enough of my takes, let's go back to those unhinged replies. Now these takes obviously got a ton of backlash from the internet. People on X replied with, you a bum. This anamorph picture had me in tears, not gonna lie. No. Say I'm sorry, not my bad. Then again, this guy has an anime profile picture, so we should probably ignore this one. And the best, most level-headed response, I do generally like your takes about stuff, but this seemed out of touch. Either way, I don't think you should be crucified over it. I think a lot of people that look up to you do appreciate you owning up to it though. But there was also a ton of support, with special guest appearances from Brandon Herrera of all people standing up for Asmin. Nah, you did nothing wrong. F Twitch for banning someone for having an opinion. Even the king of the goofy goobers, Myron, had a decent take for once in the last four years. I, I, I think people should be able to say what the they want to say, man. Honestly, I genuinely believe that. Whether I like it or not, I'll be damned if he should have his ability to speak freely taken, you know? And this is someone who disagrees with him very strongly. But how did his actual viewers feel about the statement? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, his core audience didn't really seem to care too much about it. A day later, Asmin's company, OTK, a live streaming organization, announced Asmin has left his role as one of the heads of the company. Yesterday evening, we spoke with Zach and he will be stepping away from his roles at OTK and our affiliate companies at Starforge, Mythic, and Mad Mushroom. As it says, this extends to Starforge, his gaming PC brand with Moist Critical, which is unfortunate to see since he was really invested in the brand's success, paying close attention to the reviews from massive tech YouTubers. While many people are against this decision, I can at least understand why the call was made. Asmin's takes were very extreme whether you agree with him or not. And as the head of the company, the backlash he receives unfortunately trickles down to smaller creators or the workers who are just trying to make a living. Regardless, all of this led up to the oldest trick in the book, 
a YouTuber apology. With so many YouTube apologies on the platform being absolute meme fests, Asmund was a skating on thin ice. And the result, well, you should decide that for yourself. And I think this has been something that's a long time coming. And I actually think that this is something that not only I deserved, but it's also something that I needed. And I want to talk about what the reason for that is, but I want to start off and just make sure that that's actually very clear. Oh, that's a good way to start. Uh, I, I said something about it that was disgusting. I said that I didn't care about innocent people getting by another force, by anything. And I think that that's a horrible, disgusting, mean-spirited thing to say. And the last main point. So I, I'm getting all these people making negative comments for me. Everybody is telling me like, oh, go I hate you, everything like this. Do you know who reached out to me? They uh, wanted to talk and have a conversation and see if I was okay. It's people that were Islamic and people that were <laughs> family in Palestine. And I, how humiliating is that? How absolutely humiliating is that? And these were the people I was trying to say were, were, were bad. The entire 20 minute video is arguably the best apology video on YouTube because it felt more like a self-reflection than someone trying to say whatever the audience might want to hear. His audience took it very positively, but not everyone shared that sentiment. The replies to his apology on X were less than stellar. Sick PR tweet. Can't wait to see you say the same BS in a week. Typical PR post from the OTK exec. And get a load of this one. You're a fettered corpse of filth and vitriol. In an ideal internet, you would be unknown. Shunned for your parasitism. You deserve nothing but the very same hatred you spew towards others. You're a walking, maggot-filled husk of a man. And the maggot thing isn't even hyperbole. Chill. Yeah, hold on. These replies on X prove one thing to me. If you're a content creator, never apologize at this point of the game. People are so certain about the reality of what they think is true. Most people have already made up their minds about a situation going into it before they even hear the guy side out first. No matter how genuine your apology may be, other people will just look at it as damage control. This happened a month ago with Asmin and Dr. Disrespect. On the Doc's returning stream, Asmin went into it with an open mind, giving the guy an opportunity to to explain himself in the off chance he's not guilty. And while trying to critically break down his points, a portion of the chat was like, Asmin's glazing, Asmin's a dog defender. It's like, damn bro, can we at least hear the guy out? No way, bro. Are you really doing this right now, for real? I got a lot getting to get this over with, then. This further speaks to people already making up their minds going into a situation much like Asmin's apology. And now Asmin's gonna take some time off to, I don't know, shower? <laughs> you what? Which brings me to the last point of this video, something that needs to be spoken about. While I don't think anyone should get banned for their controversial takes, if Twitch is gonna ban Asmin for air quotes hate speech... Bruce, I forgive you for not saving me. But why? Why on God's earth is he still allowed to stream? Why is Hassan Piker allowed on that platform? This psycho has interviewed alleged terror- hey! Told a trans viewer he hopes her life is terrible. The towers quote, the list goes on and on. But he's not banned, I'm sorry, what? In fact, there's an entire website named DanClancySucks.com where all of these insane and out-of-pocket takes are easy to find from tons of different Twitch streamers. Again, I don't want anyone to get banned, but if that's the game they're gonna play, why is it so inconsistent? At the end of the day, I do hope Zach takes some time to go outside and explore the world a bit. A lot of the takes that he says or consumes are likely informed by the extremes from both sides. He's a clearly someone who's terminally online, so taking some time away from the internet could be a major chapter or arc in his life. And when he comes back, at least speaking for myself, I'd be really excited to see the kind of person he develops into. 